Okay, so I've been asked how I meal plan and I'm gonna just walk you through my process. So before we get started on my process, I'll tell you what I use. So I have a legal pad that I use. I use a regular just notebook paper. Um, there's a reason I use a legal pad and I'll get to that when I talk about that. Um, I use paper clips, staples, um, and then whatever cookbooks, recipes, and um, that you want to use. So the reason I use the legal pad is because I like to write out three weeks worth of planning um, and to look at it all in uh, one spot. So right now my goal is to cook uh, uh, four times a week. So the way I'm doing it is I'm cooking through four cookbooks um, at a time. So it's one recipe per week per cookbook. Um, and so I mark next to the recipe and I keep it in the same order. I code everything. So that way I know where I'm looking for the recipe out of when I get to the next step. So once I do, I'll do a couple weeks worth at a time. Generally I do six to 12 weeks in one shot is I cut them into the three week segments out of the um, pages and then I'll take a piece of notebook paper and depending on how far ahead of time um, I'm out so like this this is for the end of February because um, I have too much time on my hands so I'll just attach it to a piece of notebook paper with a paper clip for me to come back to when I get to the next step for that far out. Um, but what I do is I go through um, the recipes for that week and I write every single ingredient and the amount I'll need out on the sheet of paper. Um, the reason I do this is because I've had many times where I look at a recipe and I go to write down what I need to go shopping for and I'm like, oh yeah, I totally have that, it's not a problem. And then I go, I go shopping and I come home and then I realize I either don't have that amount or I must have used it and totally forgot about it and I don't have it on hand. So I write everything out that I need for all the recipes for that week. And then from there, I go through and I determine what I actually have to buy for that week. So that's where this list comes into play. And um, another thing that I do is I use apps to get rebates. Um, uh, when I grocery shop, I use um, a lot of different savings apps. Um, and so I always mark my rebates, how much I'm getting, and also if I need to buy it from a specific store for that rebate and I attach it all together. So here's the original ingredient list and my rebate list for when I'm shopping. I, I, I do check this while I'm shopping. This is something I vitally use while shopping. You may not, so you don't have to. And then this is my actual shopping list and I take this whole thing shopping with me. Um, because I'll write out roughly what I need, um, but I may sit here and be looking at what they have in store size-wise available to me and realize that I have to buy, instead of maybe one can of something that's 28 ounces, I have to buy two smaller cans because that's just what they have available. So I always keep everything together. And then what I do is when I'm done shopping for the week, I have recipe cards for each of my recipes, whether it came out of the, I have certain cookbooks that I've bought, like this one, that they come recipe card style, same with this one. Um, if they're like that, then I just punch them out. If they're not, I'll make a recipe card for whatever out of my cookbook, just because I don't... It's a personal preference for me not to have my cookbooks out while I'm cooking because I don't want anything to get spilled on them and ruin them because I'm kind of particular about my books. 
Um, but so then what I'll do is I don't set a specific day of the week for the recipes. I just have four recipes that I want to make that week. So then I will put these um, with a uh, dry erase marker board that I have in my kitchen. And then I write what's up for dinner on there. So depending on what I, I might flip through and based on, you know, if my kid had a bad day at school or if it's just been a rough day for my husband, whatever, I might pick something. Like my husband's big on chicken pot pie. So I have a recipe for country chicken bacon pot pie. Um, so if he was having a bad day, I might choose to make that instead of something else. So I just kind of give myself a little leeway with it, but I, that's how I plan. And so, um, I'll kind of show you, I have <laughs> this many weeks, like I do it ahead of time. Um, so like this one's my upcoming week. So I have this, so what I'll do is I'll, when it gets um, closer to my grocery shopping day, um, I'll make my list of what groceries we need. Um, off that list and then I'll go through my savings apps and I'll write down all my rebates. I'll staple it together and I'll put it ready to go with me to go shopping. But that's how I meal plan. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.